Hey everybody, Michelle with Michelle's Frugal Living here, and thanks for watching my videos. And today is Tuesday, um, October the 25th of 2016. And I just wanted to talk about going to yard sales, auctions, flea markets, and stuff like that. Um, in one of my videos on Sunday, I mentioned that I was kind of <laughs> cut back on my shopping, my, my coupon shopping, um, because I was trying to declutter my life, and I... And I just needed to slow down in doing that and um, and try and get my garage cleaned out because it was a mess and I was planning on having a yard sale myself last week and and I didn't and um, and of course the weather's changing and the, it's um, getting to where it's not gonna, nobody's gonna go to a yard sale because it's too cold um, so anyways I um, I mentioned that a couple of people said oh yeah that'd be cool if you made videos about um, talking about that going to auctions and yard sales. Now I have made a few. I've got a, a playlist that's called flea markets, yard sales, auctions or something like that with some of my videos. Well, it's got all the videos that I've made about auctions and flea markets and stuff in it um, linked in there. And they're, they're a few years old because literally I've had to stop going and, <laughs> and I try not to even stop at yard sales and um, it's hard for me not to stop at a yard sale. And I try not to go, like there's these um, uh, flea market, indoor flea markets around here and, and resale shops and, you know, charity thrift stores. And, and, and I literally had to stop looking at the newspaper at the auction, the classifieds where they have the auctions listed so that I would not see them because every time I would read one, I'd be like, oh yeah, that'd be interesting to go to. And, and I had to stop myself from going. And here it was, I, I made those videos on a video on Sunday after the two videos I made on Sunday. I went to Rite Aid, I did my shopping, I made the videos, and I was driving around, and lo and behold, I see this yard sale, um, which was unusual on a Sunday, but I, um, I had seen a couple out on Saturday when I was driving, and, um, and but here's one on Sunday, and it wasn't just full of clothes, because the, the, I saw a couple on Saturday, and it was like the bulk of the tables were full of clothes, and I, and I don't stop at, at yard sales that are like that, and typically, <laughs> unless I buy something I really want. Or think I might want. Anyways, so this one wasn't. They they didn't. I didn't see the piles of clothes. It was other stuff. And I was like, it was in a church parking lot. And so I thought maybe they were having a rummage sale, because if you can get to a rummage sale for like an organization where they're just they're fundraising money, you can get some incredible bargains. I I have gotten lots of bargains doing that, because a lot of times they'll just be like donate us some money, and uh, yeah, you just take bags of stuff away. And uh, anyway, so I thought maybe that was what was going on. But it turned out it was just some families who got together and were having a yard sale there. And I walked up there to that first table and I looked and it was like everything was massively overpriced. It was it was crazily overpriced. And I was like, I don't think these people ever had a yard sale before. Um, but anyways, people were still buying things, stuff. So maybe they were they were getting some sales. Anyhow, so I'm like, I'll look around anyways. You know, I'm already stopped. I'm looking. And um, and I spied this box here with this hammer in it, and I was like, "Oh, that's a nice little hammer." Uh, they didn't have a price. I didn't see no prices. Then I saw it's all for one dollar, and I was like, "I couldn't believe that they wanted a dollar for this box, considering how much they had priced on all this other stuff." And um, I mean, there was some other stuff that I would have picked up if it was a lot cheaper, right? <laughs> okay. Anyways, so, but this is the kind of thing I do when I talk about going to these auctions, flea markets, yard sales, resale things, to buy things so that I can resell them at my own yard sale and make some money off of it, right? Because I'll pay a dollar for this, and because I'm looking at potential here. This is an old Coke bottle. It's all dirty. I just need to wash it up. I'll soak it in a bucket for a while to clean up real good. And it's not broken. I mean, I could sell that Coke bottle for a dollar by itself and um, just take time to clean it. This is some kind of, I don't know, flat, like put sandpaper on it or tamp something down. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but whatever. I could put a dollar on that, right? These are some um, toilet fixing pieces. If I need those myself, that'd be really great, wouldn't it? Um, and, and or um, resell them, you know, put a quarter on those and resell them. This is kind of a it goes into a light socket and it turns it into a plug. Okay, um, I can resell that or use it myself. And then these are a couple of um, water shutoff valves, water line shutoff valves. So um, 
I could scrap those out, I suppose. I've never, I'm not a scrapper. I haven't ever taken stuff to scrap like that, but um, I've often thought about it. I've got a pile of stuff, <laughs> actually, that I've been accumulating that one day I'll take to the scrapyard. But, I mean, I could sell those. I mean, if I think if I put a dollar on those, somebody might pick one of those up, okay? Anyhow, um, so I was thinking for, for the hammer, which I thought was cute and I'd keep for myself, it was a good deal for a dollar to take the whole box. Um, but I could also sell the hammer and maybe, you know, sometimes I just want to have something and I have it for a while and then I'll be like, oh, I've had it long enough and then I'll sell it. Um, but in here was also these three um, tokens. They, they say souvenir tokens from Beale Street um, in Memphis, Tennessee. And they got Elvis on the other side. So I, I looked up these on eBay. I'm not exactly sure what the place is that these came from. Uh, but on that particular website, they're selling from 3 to $10 right now. And um, so, you know, I think I could easily sell those for a dollar a piece on a yard sale. Probably. I mean, not maybe not easily, but if the right person came along. Um, especially if it's somebody who sells online, um, who would see those. They would pay me a dollar for them if they think they can get $3 from somebody else. Plus some shipping and handling, right? Anyhow, um, so that's the kind of thing that I do that I'm talking about when I buy stuff and um, for resale. Picked up a box for a dollar, and I think I can get <laughs> several dollars back out of that. Um, and then also they had uh, boxes of DVDs, and I just got these two. Actually, I got these for myself. Um, <laughs> oh, anyways, so these were a buck fifty a piece. I don't know what DVDs are selling for online, and I've kind of been out of the the loop onto what people are actually paying for dvds but um you know it's one of those things if if you could sell them online for more than that then it would be worth paying a dollar fifty for a bunch of these and and trying to resell them if you were into that kind of thing and also um like there's this um store that sells um games and DVDs, D uh, Blu-ray, that kind of thing, and they buy um, items, um, and that's how they get their inventory to sell. And so, you know, I don't know what they what they pay for particular DVDs, but let's say, you know, these were for I picked these up for a buck fifty, and they would pay me two dollars for them. It'd be a really good deal to go ahead and buy like twenty of them from these people on this yard sale. And then take them right over there and, and sell them. You know, if, if you could, I mean, do it all in one big lump. But, you know, like I said, I I haven't gotten into doing that kind of thing with these. I know a lot of people do that with books. <laughs> if you go, some people just focus on books at yard sales and everything else. So, um, anyways, I just thought it was so funny that I had mentioned that in, in that video. And then here I stumble upon this yard sale and actually make a deal. Um, I feel like by paying a dollar for this box. And I don't feel like even if I don't ever sell any of this stuff and it, <laughs> I never get my dollar back, I think it's all right. I got a little hammer that I'm sure I'll use for something one day. <laughs> and a couple of DVDs. <laughs> okay, that's all my chat right now. And I, I will, I'm gonna, I'll talk about uh, this kind of stuff and go into auctions and stuff like that. Cause I've, I have wanted to do that. And since it's kind of been kind of slow in um, couponing for me and maybe, maybe if with me, searching through all my stuff and I, and it might inspire me to talk to you guys about um going to auctions and how to do that kind of thing all right i'll talk to you guys later